Hello. Dimitris Dimitriadis was born in Thessaloniki. In 1963, with a scholarship from the Belgian state, he studied theater and cinema in Brussels at the National Institute of Performing Arts. There, he wrote his first play, entitled The Price of Resistance in the Black Market, in 1966. A play with clear references to the political situation of its time. Patricia Rose's direction was staged two years later, in 1968 in Paris, opening the writer's theatrical career. His first novel, Dying as Country, a work about the spiritual and physical death of a country, about the death of every human value, and eventually the death of man himself, was published in 1978, introducing him to Greek literature. Since then starts a very fertile period for the author that reaches up today. Along with writing, he got systematically involved with the translation of prose works, Georges Bataille, Godovich, Balzac, as well as the translation of plays for various theaters, Bernard Marie Coltes, Moliere, Zanzenet, Tennessee Williams, Shakespeare, and of the ancient tragic Greeks. Aeschylus and Euripides, who have profoundly influenced him. Dimitris Dimitriadis is an open, unfamiliar case of modern Greek theatre, with rich dramatic production that fascinates and impresses, but also challenges, with ardent defenders of his work. It's worth mentioning that a theatre group was founded in Athens in order to stage only his plays, but also people who refused to accept his work up to now. Of particular interest is the fact that he became more readily accepted abroad, mainly in France, than in his own country, and his friend's acceptance influenced his acceptance in Greece and contributed a lot to the wider access of his plays on stage. In 2009-2010, the Odeon Theatre in Paris, under the direction of Olivier P, organized a tribute to his work, nominating him as Contemporary European Writer of the Year, while another tribute was held in Greece in 2013 at Leonassi's Cultural Center. These tributes also contributed decisively to the institutionalization of the author, the National Theatre of Greece was one of the first to present his work in his homeland. Already in 1998, Dying as a Country was part of the repertory of its experimental stage, but just last year it staged for the first time one of his plays, The Ripping. The author, with his bold and unorthodox style, criticizes ridiculous behavior and inflated values and he calls the audience to accept the upcoming end of civilization. This is a question he revisits in his work. He's a witty, heretic personality who puts everything in question, even his own country and fellows. He is preoccupied with reflection, rejection, criticism, with a denouncement of everything that has been done and of everything the Greek society brings with it of the heroic and glorious past. Not to reduce their value, neither to reject them, but he wants to build a new relationship with them. Dimitriadi has a very personal and genius way of writing and dealing with these things. When he appears at the Greek theater, most of the playwrights were trying to represent life on stage, give life slices to the audience in pure and brutal representation. Dimitriadis stands out immediately, giving to his theater a poetic and philosophical dimension with a highly elaborated linguistic style. His work resembles a tragedy that recounts the various manifestations of the human race's failure and despair in such a way that the stage becomes a place of philosophical reflection.
the core, the heart of his theater is existence and everything that defines it, tradition, history, despair, the other. His dramaturgy attempts to poetically rewrite reality through his personal look, his own infiltration over things. As the writer has said, he considers it fundamental to do everything we can do, everything we can to get to a theatrical and poetical transformation of the present. His theater talks about human existence. How can a social entity endure something that affects it, something that goes beyond it? This is the main motivation that leads him to form and write issues recurring in his work. Identity of the person, death, love, mortality, the presence of man in the world, the world itself, human relations. He seeks to unsettle the established perceptions that are barriers to poor truth, always in conversation with his ancestors the previous creators like Homer, Euripides, or Cavafy. His playing chorus is a polyphonic work. The writer goes back to the root of things, to the archetypical anxiety about what is our position in this world. Play flows to his previous play, Culture, a Cosmic Tragedy, written in 2013, where Medea is experiencing an identity crisis as she engages herself as a tragic face in a non-tragic world. The tragedy has been stripped of its components and the reasons that gave birth to the ancient gods have collapsed. Ancient cities have been destroyed. The person has lost his identity. The break with tradition is in inevitable. Respectively, in this play, Chorus is in front of a, of a unique experience. The 15 representatives of the city, elders whose role their mission is to tell their opinion when asked, are in front of the palace. They were asked to come, but nobody told them the reason. They were asked to respond by following their tradition, but for the first time ever, there is no one waiting for them, no one to talk to them, to explain them what is happening, why they were called. The palace is empty. Everybody has gone. Overturn has been done. And the, is the course able to go beyond its limits? Are they able to handle the unexpected situation? Dimitriadis is interested in the human condition. He gives us the tools to look at it. It's amazing how Dimitriadis handles cores, an ensemble of people without a specific identity, in order to speak out about the absolute necessity of man to have a purpose in his life, to find out its meaning, to discover it, to be a person with name, history, and sex to have its own identity, even if he has to suffer and be cursed. The question is hard. Are we ready to become people? Thank you.